today we're gonna talk about different mount interface designations. In other words, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo. What do those designations mean for Silence Go silencers? What do you need? What's the difference? Why do we have different stuff? I'm about to show you. So first we have our Alpha interface. Alpha originally started on our pistol silencers. So on this Octane, for example, uh, we've got our piston assembly and the piston retainer that actually threads into the back. Those threads are really what we're calling the Alpha pattern. Now, if we wanted to do direct thread, we would get the Alpha direct thread mount, which is gonna use those same threads, which is an inch and an eighth by 28. Or we could do our ASR mount as well. Same deal, it's talking about those threads and if they will interface with the Octane. So anything designated Alpha will fit on Octane that has its mount interface designated as Alpha. Most of the Alpha stuff is pretty central around our pistol silencers. There are some exceptions, like our Harvester 300, that is Alpha and it's designated as such on our website. And that'll use the same mounts as the Octane, for example, as far as direct thread and uh, ASR. It's not a pistol silencer, so you're not gonna use a piston in it. Now, if we move up to Bravo, it's essentially the same deal. Whatever you're putting into it, whether it's a direct thread mount or an ASR mount, essentially just threads in, shoulders, and then you'll tighten it down with a wrench. That's all Bravo is. And the difference between Alpha and Bravo is just the diameter. And then last, we have Charlie. Charlie's a little more unique. So whereas our Alpha and Bravo mounts are just differences in diameter, the Charlie's pretty different in construction altogether. With the Charlie, you're going to have some sort of tapered insert. So if we're doing direct thread, that's a two-piece system. So we've got our thread insert and our coupler ring. Thread insert goes into the silencer, and then the coupler ring threads over the top of it. And essentially what that coupler ring is doing it's compressing that tapered insert into the accepting tapered insert of the silencer, just wedging that taper into place rather than just a simple thread and piece. So Charlie's a little more complex. You've got a two piece assembly rather than a single piece assembly like you do on Alpha and Bravo. As far as the front caps go, it's just a different thread pattern um, of varying diameters. So it's, it's simple direct thread, right handed threads, turn it counterclockwise to take it out, clockwise to put it in until it seats and it's uh, pretty straightforward in that way. So between Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, they're just a different thread pattern. So they're not gonna fit with one another. So we sell ASR mounts, direct thread mounts. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there, other mounts that use Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. So with our ASR mount, we would get an Alpha ASR mount and that would thread straight into an Alpha silencer. Bravo silencer, Bravo ASR mount. Simply threads in, bigger threads than the Alpha, of course. Threads in right-handed and shoulders, and that's all there is to it. With the Charlie, we actually have uh, what is a separate two-piece assembly before we assemble it. You're gonna have a tapered insert, which drops in. They're different the way they're designed. They are not cross-compatible. If it's an Alpha silencer, it's Alpha accessories. Bravo silencer, Bravo accessories. Charlie silencer, Charlie accessories. Now the one thing to be mindful of on these is these are not just rifle silencers. These are kind of our uh, multi-purpose silencers. So our hybrid can be run both on high power rifles as well as a handgun. Same thing with the Omega 36M. So both of these take a piston housing. So for something like this hybrid that uses Bravo pattern accessories, we're going to run a Bravo piston housing if we want to put it on a handgun. And again, with our Omega 36M, this uses the Charlie interface. We want to put it on a handgun. So we need the Charlie pattern piston housing. Now the piston housings, allow you to run it on a handgun with a reciprocating or moving belt or tilting barrel. They're effectively an adapter to alpha is, is kind of a way to think about it. The threads that it's essentially adapting the Charlie interface to are the threads of the alpha mount. So if I wanted to run my hybrid with a three lug mount, I would put in my Bravo piston housing, which is effectively creating a conversion to alpha. So then I could put my three lug mount in there or I could put my standard piston assembly in there where the retainer is those alpha threads. Same deal with my Omega 36M. If I take my mount off and I wanna run this on a handgun instead, Charlie piston housing, two pieces. Drop the housing in there, put my coupler ring on there. 
Then I would cinch that down, and now it will accept alpha pattern accessories like the three lug mount or an actual piston. So we've got our three model silencers here, representing Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, all equipped with ASR mounts. Now as far as ASR muzzle devices go, we offer a short single port brake, a three port brake, and a flash hider. They're all ASR pattern. You can use any ASR mount, Alpha, Bravo, or, or Charlie, on any ASR muzzle device. The mounting interfaces of the muzzle devices are 100% consistent. So, of course, you want to make sure you have the proper bore size of your muzzle device for the host firearm it's going on and the silencer it's on. Uh, so the bore size needs to make sense, naturally. Uh, but as long as you're not shooting something too big through a smaller bore size muzzle device, you can use any ASR mount on any ASR muzzle device. We've got our Octane here, which is an alpha pattern silencer, and it's center fire pistol specific. That's what it was designed around. So it has a piston housing inside that your piston assembly will just drop into. And then your spring retainer will just go right over the top of your piston and thread straight into that alpha pattern back end. The three lug mount, also alpha pattern, we don't currently offer a Charlie or Bravo pattern, will just thread straight into that alpha pattern back end of that octane and we're ready to go. Now when we move to our multi-purpose silencers like for example this hybrid and this Omega 36M here, those can also be used on handguns although they're designed around rifles first and foremost. So in order to take our same pistons and have those be cross compatible, so when you put a piston housing in the Bravo back end of a silencer, you're enabling it to take a piston. So now we can use our same piston housing and retainer we used on the Octane, and that'll th thread straight into our hybrid, and we can run it on a center fire handgun. So if I want to run three lug, I'm going to keep my piston housing in here, which is acting also as a Bravo to Alpha adapter of sorts, and now my Alpha three lug mount will thread straight in. Now if we want to put a Charlie piston housing inside our 36M, for example, we've got our Charlie piston housing which is in two pieces, just like our other mounts. And that piston housing is going to drop in. I'm going to put my coupler ring on, which is going to compress the piston housing into the silencer onto that taper. And now, again, I can run my standard piston assembly with the same standard retainer in that silencer. So if I want to run my alpha pattern three lug, that will just thread straight into that piston housing like so. And we also have our standalone uh, muzzle devices. So we have a blast shield, which does not silence your firearm. It just diverts the blast more forward rather than out the sides. If you're running a brake in particular, or we actually have the brake, 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 as we call it here. Um, essentially, it is a brake that will take whatever mount you want to put on it. As long as it's the same pattern, we make these in Bravo and Charlie. If I have a Charlie ASR mount in a Charlie brake, that will thread in. This is Charlie, so I'd use a Charlie front cap, thread that on there, and then that's ready to go as well. So let's get into Bravo versus Charlie a little bit. Bravo and Charlie uh, rear interfaces are both appropriate for generally the same range of silencer diameter, but there's some pros and cons. So pro of Bravo, it's very simple. You can have one single piece of metal for direct thread. When you go to uh, Charlie, now you're doing two separate pieces, and you're doing tapers, which require a little more precise machining, a little more attention to tolerance. And then, of course, we're two pieces. So no doubt Charlie's a little more complex. So if I take this hybrid with a Bravo mount, um, and I didn't cinch it down very tight, but even if I did, this is still something that can potentially happen. When you thread onto a muzzle device like this, for example, this is a 300 blackout host, the 5 8 24 muzzle thread and my direct thread mount. So one thing you might run into with Bravo, it's not a big deal, but it's more just annoying if it happens, is because everything's threaded, essentially if you go to take your silencer off your firearm, if you've been shooting for a while and given everything in here a chance to heat and expand and cool and contract and things move a little bit, things might come loose or get tighter, you essentially have two sets of threads that might do what they want either way. So if you go to take off your silencer and it happens to be looser than the mount is now holding onto the muzzle, you might try to remove your silencer, and you do, but it leaves the mount behind on the muzzle of your firearm. 
Not a big deal, not the end of the world. We put wrench flats on all of our direct thread mounts just for that reason. So you never end up with something you can't take off. The ASR mounts the same way. You could have a ASR muzzle device on this firearm, mount your silencer via ASR, take the can off by rotating the silencer and leave your ASR mount on the firearm. And that's where we get the benefit of the Charlie mounting system is that can't happen. Because the actual part that's threading onto the muzzle is that tapered insert, and that tapered insert is sharing a much larger tapered surface, bonding it to the can with static friction, that essentially gives a huge advantage to the silencer to want to break free on the shoulder of the threads rather than where the mount is interfacing with the silencer. So you're drastically reducing the chance of something like leaving your mount on the gun. The other nice thing about Charlie is you can actually clock your silencer if you're running direct thread or three lug. So because that tapered surface is only being held in by this uh, coupler ring that's wedging it in, you can essentially break that tapered insert free of the silencer so it spins. And that tapered insert is still threaded down against the silencer and it's not moving, but because I broke that taper, my silencer is freely spinning around that insert. So I could actually orient my silencer how I want. So maybe I just want, you know, the logo and engraving information on the side to look good. Or for a more functional purpose, if you want to alter your point of impact shift, which tends to be the opposite of the way your ports are, where your ports are all aligned, you can actually orient the silencer to put those ports on top to move your point of impact when a silencer is on it down or vice versa. Put those ports aligned on the bottom to bias the point of impact of your silencer more upward. So I could orient the silencer however I want it, but you don't get that with Bravo. And then obviously your trade-off is your Charlie interface. It's more difficult to manufacture. It's more complex because you're using two parts. If we look at an ASR muzzle device, we're seating on this taper around the outside. That is what our silencer is, as we thread down, that's what it is seating against. That's what's creating your gas seal, and that's what's rotationally giving you that static friction to keep it in place. With Charlie, by breaking that up, essentially, what we're doing is that insert is actually what is sitting on the taper of the muzzle device, and that same tapered insert with a lot more surface area creating more static friction, as long as it's wedged in, makes it far more likely that that smaller tapered face of the muzzle device is going to break loose before this tapered insert ever does from the can. So I hope it makes sense now the reason why Charlie's superior for mount to silencer bond retention essentially is because of the amount of surface area and static friction being created on the tapered interfaces. When it comes to uh, the Delta and Echo accessory designations, it's a little simpler. All Delta means is it's for rim fire. So all of our rim fire specific silencers and accessories are considered Delta. So thread adapters, which you commonly need on 22LR hosts, um, all of our Delta thread adapters are gonna have the half 28 threads with the silencer co O-ring engagement added. All of our rimfire silencers have a way to go on any standard rimfire thread, but if you do want the extra benefit, having that flat surface in front of the threads engages the O-ring on the silencer, which helps keep your threads clean. It also helps your silencer stay tight when it's threaded on. So Delta, that just means rimfire. So it's for the accessories like these that will mate with any of our rimfire lineup. Then lastly, we have Echo. Echo means essentially for the Salvo. So our shotgun silencer, the Salvo 12 or the Salvo 12K, use our uh, tapered choke interface that we call Echo. So to mount your shotgun silencer, it goes on said chokes onto that tapered interface and you thread the collar down. So the tapered choke system, which at this time only applies to the Salvo 12, that is what the echo pattern is. When you buy a choke, an echo choke, that's what you'll see. That's the echo interface. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any further questions, leave us a comment down below, or you can always call our customer service department and they'll be happy to answer any questions you have as well.